Hello, everybody. This is Bob Delaney back at Yankee Stadium, where the Yankees are just now taking the field for the start of the second game. Going for Washington will be Pete Burnside, and Bowden will be pitching for the Yankees, making his debut as a starting pitcher with New York. Washington has Pearsall in center, O'Connell at third, Hicks in left, Long at first, King in right, Johnson the shortstop, Smith catching, Cotier at second, and Burnside pitching. While the Yankees have their right hitting unit, right hand hitting unit in, with Richardson at second, Boyer at third, Merritt in right, Mantle in center, Howard catching, Scour in first base, Lopez in left, Fresh the shortstop, and Bowden pitching. Washington beat the uh, Yankees in the first game, 4-2, to two, with Stenhouse being the winning pitcher and the losing pitcher, Ralph Perry, the starter. Other scores in the American League in the first game of a doubleheader, Boston beat Chicago 3-2, to two, Baltimore and Los Angeles at L.A. just getting underway, Cleveland at Kansas City at the end of four, Cleveland won Kansas City nothing. At the end of three, Minnesota five, Detroit three. The Twins are on the move, and the Tigers are having difficulty getting on track. Philly five, Mets three, end of seven. Los Angeles and Pittsburgh postponed rain. San Francisco and Chicago at the end of seven. The Giants on the winning ways again, seven to one they lead. St. Louis at Cincinnati at the end of six. The Reds three, St. Louis nothing. Houston and Milwaukee not yet started. Here's Pearsall taking the first pitch from Bowden inside, ball one. Now let's pick up Mel Allen, who will be carrying you along with the play-by-play in the second game. Pitch to Jimmy Pearsall is low, ball two. Jimmy batting 214. Two balls, no strikes. Now the delivery is outside, ball three. Jim Bowden. Who has uh, relieved once this year, worked three innings. Delivers, and it's low for ball four. Pearsall draws the walk. And Jim stops to talk to Danny O'Connell to tell him what Bowden's got. Now the ball is moving. Also to check with him on the sign. Jimmy Pearsall on first base. Now the pitch. Curve. It's in there for the strike. Bouton was signed by the Yankees. He went to uh, Western Michigan University from Ridgewood, New Jersey. He had a pretty good knuckleball to begin with. Good curve, but he just threw. Next pitch is a curve low outside. Ball one, one and one. In the first game, Dave Stenhouse made uh, his first major league start and won. Go had to have help from Steve Hamilton. Didn't have to have help. He's taking out for pinch hitter. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike two. There is a difference. The pinch hitter is Gene Woodling. He homered. It tied the score and they went on and won it for two. Daniel Connell at bat. Nothing for four in the opener. The pitch curve high. 2-2. A new pitcher, or a pitcher new to a batter, represents uh, a challenge, and it also represents the same point umpire. Just to kind of get used to the way the ball moves and breaks. And the pitch. Swung on a ground ball. Richardson up with it. Throws to second for one. Back on to first. Two. You never thought that would be a double play as you sat here and looked at it. In fact, you thought it might be a base hit. 
because of the fact that Richardson broke to second. A hit and run was on. First ball broke, and Richardson started to go. The ball was hit behind Richardson, so he stopped and on the brakes, went to his left, scooped the ball up, fired on to Tresh, and Tresh back to Scarlett. Now Joe Hicks is the batter. Left-hand hitter. Jim Bouton's pitch is into the dirt, through a knocker. Ball one. One ball, no strike. Next delivery, fastball in there. Bouton's knuckler, unlike uh, the great flutter ball of Hoyt Wilhelm, breaks, uh, which breaks big, uh, Bouton's acts like a spitter. Next delivery, low and inside, ball two. That is, it breaks sharply down, left and right. Quick and sharp, rather than a, a big flutter like Wilhelm's knuckler. Bouton has a better than average fastball. Good curve. The 2-1 pitch to Hicks. Swung on and missed. Strike two. 2-2. Two, two. It would have been interesting if the managers had so desired to have pitted uh, Bouton against Stenhouse in the opener, each making the first major league start. You know, just for kicks. Two balls, two strikes. Getting real cloudy now. And the pitch is high and away. Three and two. Three balls, two strikes. Big gap in left center for the left-handed hitting Joe Hicks. The pitch is curved inside ball four. Hicks walks. And thus the pattern is the same now as it was in the first game of the first inning. He walked with two outs. And uh, one of the highlights, or turning points, stole second when Blanchard couldn't get the ball out of it fast enough to throw down for what might have been a third out, and then Dale Long doubled in a run. Dale Long is up there now. Long drove in two runs first game. Swings and fouls it back, strike one. Here's the next pitch. Swung on, hit off the pitcher, out to uh, off the glove of Tresh. In addition, hit off the leg or glove of Bouton. Tresh went over to try to field it, and he went off his glove, but then he recovered. Now it's starting to rain. That scored as a hit. As Jim King comes up. Jim King. Nothing for four in the opener. Batting uh, 304. The rain is coming down. We have to call time in a moment. Here's the pitch. High outside, ball one. Raining kind of hard. John Flaherty looks up, takes a look at the situation. Rain last Sunday, too, just before the start of the second game. Hicks on second, long on first. Bottom to the stretch. And the pitch swung on a high fly ball in the left. Hector Lopez is under it and has it. Side is retired. No runs, one hit, no errors, two left on. End of the first half, the first inning of the second game. Washington nothing. New York coming to bat.
first half of the first inning. Pete Burnside making his fifth appearance of the year. All start. He won two and lost one. Bobby Richardson at bat. Burnside, a left-hander, delivers. Right over, strike one. The one strike pitch. Inside, ball one, one and one. Still a light drizzle. Bobby batting 276. Was hit this in the first game. Now the Burnside offering is fouled off. To the drive of the plate, strike two, one and two. One ball, two strikes. And the next pitch is swung on, lined over short in the left center for a base hit. And it bounces, and Bobby turns first, heads for second. And goes in with a stand-up double as it bounces off the glove of Joe Hicks in left. Hicks did a good job of getting over to cut the line drive off after it hit the ground. Richardson doubles to left. His sixth two bagger. And here's Cleet Boyer returned to the number two spot in the order. With the left hand to working. The pitch to the right hand batter. Swung on and popped up. Out back at second. Chuck Cotter under it. Back on the grass and has it for the first out in the last half of the first inning. Now Roger Maris comes up, hitting 293. Maris had uh, two doubles in the opener and four trips. No score. Last of the first. Pete Burnside to the stretch. And the pitch to Rod. High and inside. Ball one. Yankees lost the opener to the Senators, 4-2. One side ready, and a one nothing pitch over the outside corner, strike one. Yankees have played only 500 ball at home, 4-4. Four four. They're 9-3 on the road. They just turned it around. It's actually a Madigan baseball. It can be 9-3 at home, so-called, and play 500 ball on the road, you all right. Here's the delivery. One on as a high drive. The deep right field. That ball is going. Going it is gone. <laughs> Richardson scores, and Roger Maris comes home with his fifth home run of the year. And he has 13 runs batted in. Tying Mantle and Howard for the team lead in RBI. Mantle in the opener had two out of four, including a tremendous homer, 32 rows back up into the bleachers. But in a losing call. Batting right handed now against Burnside. They pitch to Mick in the strike one. Four of the five home runs hit by Maris had been off Washington pitching. The one strike pitch now to Mick. Swung on as a drive to be strike two. It is going, going, it is gone. Back to 
it back. M and M. Homer, 14 runs batted in. Here's Elston Howard, batting 258. Burnside's delivery is high, ball one. The pitch to Elston Howard, swung on and missed, strike one. That's the second time this year that the Yankees have hit back-to-back homers. Boyer and Maris did it on April 28th against Washington. And the Yankees 10-3 win over the Senators down there. In fact, the Yankees hit three in that inning. Boyer and Maris uh, hit back-to-back homers. Howard hits the slow cap to second. Carter up with it. Flips the day along. And they're two away. Now coming up is Bill Scowan. Last year, Maris and Mantle homered back to back on four occasions. As the Yankees overall tied a major league record, their own, of 13 uh, occasions in which they hit back to back homers. 13 times last year. John looks at a pitch high and tight for a ball. Burnside pitches inside. Ball two. Two balls, no strike. A two nothing delivery. Swung on and missed. Strike one, turn one. Beat Burnside, two one pitch, swung on, down to down, hits the bag, backhanded, finish the ball, time the long throw, in time and a great play by Danny O'Connell. A smash down the line, hit the bag, and took an extra hop. O'Connell backhanded the ball at the grass almost. At the outfield grass. And cut loose to the throw that got moose. Maris and Mantle get a hand as they go out. Three runs for New York. Three hits. There were no errors for Washington. Nobody left on for New York. At the end of the first inning, the Yankees three and the Senators nothing. Washington won the first game four to two. The Boston Red Sox will be here on Tuesday night for the first night game of the year at the stadium. They'll be here Wednesday afternoon. Milwaukee beat Houston 3-2. Warren Spahn winning his 312th Major League game. Gold in the loser. Mahias with one on for Houston. Crandall for Milwaukee homering. Second game will be Farrell and Willie. Cincinnati 3. St. Louis nothing in the seven innings. Jay against Bolio. Coleman homering in the sixth for Cincinnati. First game. San Francisco beat Chicago 7-3. Odell beats Buell. Willie Mays at his 10th. He's a major league leader. One on. Keen also homered. Time call rain. Seven innings at Philadelphia. Phil five. Met three. Locke for Hamilton in the seventh. Miller for Moorhead in the seventh. In the American League, Boston beat Chicago 3-2. First game, Conley beat Cesaro. Carry on homered. Second game, one nothing Chicago. End of the first inning, Harlan against Wilson. Estrada and McBride, Baltimore, Los Angeles. Cleveland, four, Kansas City, nothing. End of five, Grant and Bass. Kirkland, home of the two on. 
Minnesota five, Detroit three under four and a half. A foul against Boyd Jack. Now the ball is hit by Johnson to Trash. Yep, but it throw to first in time. One away. Boot and Homer to the one on the third for Detroit. The shallow from the third, two on for Minnesota. Those extra games kind of leaked over on you. Whoever designed baseball is just designed it perfectly. as the 90 feet string bases. And four games an inning. Four games in each league uh, normally, and you can get them through in time with pitches and homers. Now, those extra two, you got to move over. Johnson grounds out to trash. Here's Bob Smith taking low outside for a ball. Especially when they're playing double headers. One time giant Bob Smith, right hand batter, takes a low pitch, bounce in front of the plate, ball two, two or nothing. Three of Maris' five homers, four out of his five been off Washington pitching, and three of them have been off left handed pitching. The two nothing delivery to Schmidt. Swung on, there's a ball, hit deep to left. Lopez racing back, still going, and did he get it? Yes, he did. He one handed it. How oh, about that? He had his back to us. I couldn't tell whether the ball hit on the warning track in front of him, and he did it on one hop or not. He just reached out and made a spectacular play in front of the auxiliary scoreboard in left field. For running with his back to the plate. I hope they got a picture of that one. I mean, he does. Wow. Bob Smith beat off. Hector Lopez made one of his uh, best catches. Chuck Cotter takes the strike. Nothing in one. Jim Bouton delivers. Um, Knuckler hits the plate, bounces up in the air, caught by Howard on the first hop. You know, a play like that from our standpoint is better seen from the third deck. We used to broadcast in the third deck. Rather, still rather be up there and see a game much better. The 1-1 one, one pitch swung on, popped up. Scarron backs up along the first baseline, still backing up and has it. In fair territory by about a foot. No runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on. And Hector Lopez ought to get a hand for that great catch he made on Bob Smith. And here he comes, and here's the hand. I'd love to be in that Yankee dugout right at this point. Lopez has become a great glove man. We pause for station identification. Present temperature is 65 degrees. Last half of the second inning, Hector Lopez up. 3 0 New York, Washington on the first one, 4 2. The pitch is inside and high from Burnside. One ball, no strike. The center to the left hander delivers. Swung on and missed. Strike one. One and one. One ball, one strike. And the delivery. Outside and high. Ball two, two and one. Two balls, one strike. Burnside pitch is swung on. There's a high fly ball to right field. King going back to the barrier and has it. One away. They paid attendance today, 23,940. 
23,940. With servicemen, an overall total of 24,656. Tom Tresh, who uh, hit second in the opener, batting right-handed against Burnside. Takes the go up for the right hand. I believe he did. He started up and then stopped by halfway up. So it appears to be a strike and it's starting to rain again. Now, John Flaherty says, I stopped my hand and he holds up the thing on the left hand. It's the ball. The pitch to Tresh is swung on and fouled back. A 1-1 one, one count. Pete Burnside pitches Tom Tresh, who bunks in the air. Smith after it and can't get it. A 1-2 count. Two strikes. The one two delivery on the way. Up high for ball two. Two two. Two balls, two strikes. And the 2 2 pitch to Trash. Swung on, fouled off. Up over our heads into the mezzanine. A 2 2 count on Tom Trash. Here's the next delivery. Swung on, tapped to the box. Burnside has it on a hop, slips on to Dale Long, and they're two away. Jim Bouton out of the dugout. Jim is uh, in his uh, dressing habits from the standpoint of the baseball uh, pants. The throwback to the old days. He just wears them right around the knees. He doesn't bring them down to the ankles. The pitch to Bouton. High, ball one. Way back many years ago, ball players seldom ever pull those pants way down just above the ankles. Always uh, at the knees. Here's the pitch in there for a strike. One and one. One ball, one strike. And the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swung on, a ground ball hits the day along. Flips it over to Burnside covering, and the side is retired. No runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on. At the end of two innings of play, the Yankees, three runs, three hits, no errors. Washington, no hits. Sorry, no runs, one hit, no errors. Ball one inside as we go to the third inning. To Pete Burnside, Jim Bouton, making his major league uh, start, starting debut, fires in there for a strike. Met five, fills five, playing last the eighth, first game. Here's the next pitch, swung on, bounce toward second, two hops. Richardson has it, throws on to Scowan, and Burnside's out. Dodgers and Pirates finally got rained out after playing a scoreless inning. Giants beat the Cubs, 7-3, Odell beat Buell. They're only playing one game. 
Cardinals got three in the ace to tie Cincinnati at 10 to seven and a half innings of the first game. Jimmy Pearsall takes inside for a ball. Milwaukee beats Houston three to two. Spawn beat Golden. Second game, Houston leads two one end of an inning. Jimmy walked in the first inning. Bouton's curve is outside. Ball two. Two balls, no strike. Three nothing Yankees, third inning. They pitch to Jimmy Pearsall right in there. Strike one. Two and one. Here's the 2 1 offering. Fastball bounded out back through the middle for a base hit. Jimmy turns first, holds up with a single to center. With one out in the third inning. Now Daniel Connell, who's down to the second into a double play in the first inning, steps up. delivers, pitch swung on and missed. Strike one. Curveball, O'Connell tried to ride to the opposite field. The right field in this case, he's a right-hand batter. John Clarity gives uh, home plate a little uh, cleaning. No balls, one strike. And the pitch. There's a bunt foul, strike two, bunt down the third baseline. Just inside, one and two. Danny O'Connell, KG performer, didn't handle that bat and uh, hitting the ball in uh, different directions. First ball on first, one out, and the pitch. Swung on, fouled uh, to the right of the plate into the upper deck. Count remains one and two. Jim Bouton's next pitch curve is high and inside. Two balls, two strikes. Now the pitch, swung on and lined in the center for a base hit. It's a curveball. Straight away, Kersoff stops at second. Runners on first and second, one out, and Joe Hicks is up with Dale Long to follow. Danny O'Connell's 998 Major League hit. Yankee bullpen gets the alert. Three hits off Bouton in his first uh, real jam now. 
Left hand hitter up, and the pitch is a curve swung on and missed. Strike one. Kershaw on second, O'Connell on first. Bud Daly in the bullpen. Senators took the first game four to two. Jim Bouton, the right-hander, ready. Checks the two runners. Here's the pitch. Hicks takes the curve inside. Ball one. One and one. One ball, one strike, one out. First ball off second. O'Connell off first. And the pitch. Fastball in there. Strike two. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Runners lead away. Jim Bouton ready. And the pitch. Swung on, a ground ball hit to Richardson. Over to Trace. Back on to Stalin. That's a double play. And the side is retired. No runs. Two hits, no errors, one left on. At the end of two and a half innings, New York three, Washington nothing. In the last half of the third inning at Yankee Stadium, in the second game of the doubleheader, the first game of which was won by the Senators with a three-run eighth-inning rally off Ralph Perry. Dave Stenhouse, the winning pitcher, nullifying a two-run homer by Mantle. The Yankees lead three to nothing. On first inning homers by Maris and Mantle. And in the last of the third, it's the top of the Yankee order. Richardson, Boyer, Maris. Pete Burnside's delivery is a curve inside, ball one. And the message board indicates to the fans here that last May, the Yankees won 14 games and lost 12. Had a long time to go. Finish up this May, yes. Here's the pitch. Bunny at and missed for strike one and one. One ball, one strike. Bobby double to left in the first inning. Pete Burnside pitch on the way. Swung on line in the left field for a single. Taken on the second hop by Hicks. The throw goes in the second. Bobby holds up after the turn. And here now is Pete Boyer, who popped out in the first inning to Chuck Cottier. O'Connell shortened up in the event of a bunt. Maris on deck, man on the follow. 3 nothing New York. It's the last of the third. Moved to first base. Bobby Richardson back safely. Now the stretch by Burnside. And the pitch to Boyer. Pitch out. Runners not going. Ball one. with a one nothing offering as a move for first base instead and Richardson's back safely. Here's the pitch. Swung on and hit foul down the left field line. In the upper deck. Scattering the pigeons. One-one count. 
Throw to first base. Richardson is easy back. Now the stretch by Burnside. And the pitch to Boyer. High and away. Ball two, two, and one. Balls, one strike. The left hander is pitched, swung on as a drive in the left that is going to be gathered in on the run by Joe Hicks going toward left center, and Richardson retreats to first. One down, and here's Maris who homered in the first inning. Checks the runner. The pitch to Rod swung on and popped up off to the right of the plate. Long and Smith and Long has the ball right in front of the Yankee dugout. Two away and Mickey Mantle comes up. Mick hit a, an opposite field homer, batting right-handed in the first inning. After having clouded a tape measure job in the first game, 32 rows up into the bleachers in right center. Two away. Burnside pitch. Swung on and popped high into the air. Around second. Bob Johnson under it and has it, and the side's retired. No runs. One hit, no errors, one left on. At the end of three innings, Yankees, three runs, four hits, no errors. Washington, no runs, three hits, no errors. I think I'll have Phil come on and sit in for an inning before Red comes over. I'll take an inning off to have a sandwich before I go to the television side to finish up for the day. George Listing with you. Hope you'll come and visit us at Yankee Stadium Tuesday night when the Red Sox are here. We don't need to pause for say hey, well not right now. Well we'll let Phil do it then. There he is. Ready to go here in the top of the fourth inning, Dale Long, who singled his first time up, takes the curve over strike call. Jim Bowden getting his first major league start going for the Yankees. Yankees lost the first game 4-2. They lead here 3-0. Curve hit to right field. A base hit by Long. Another change up curve ball. Long got out in front of that one. Drilled a single between first and second of right field. That's the fourth hit off Bowden. It brings up Jim King. Five to left field in the first inning. Yankees have had two double plays in this ball game. One in the first inning, one in the third. First pitch is over. Strike call to King. On deck, Bob Johnson. The stretch and the curve low inside, one and one. Allen holding first against Long. Fastball hit to deep right center field. Mantle moving back and to his left under it makes the catch in front of the scoreboard. King got good wood on that ball. One away, here's Bob Johnson. Bounce to the shortstop in the second inning.
On deck, Bob Smith, the catcher. Long taking a short lead off first. Curve is inside ball one. Hit deep to left field. Lopez is going back. Going back, and he makes another over the shoulder catch. A beautiful play. Not quite as sensational as the one he made on Bob Smith is coming to the plate now. But deep in left field and going with his back to the plate. Lopez pulls down another one. Hector has made two great plays out in left field. And here's Bob Smith, who hit the one that was caught by Lopez just in front of the auxiliary scoreboard in deep left field. Now both the shots, the one by Schmidt in the second inning, the one by Bob Johnson right here would have been home runs in the new Washington, D.C. stadium. Two out, long still at first base. Pitch to Schmidt, curve, low and outside, ball one. Senator's not doing too much with Bouton's curveball, but they're getting the good wood on his fastball. Third low ball two, two nothing. Chuck Cottier on deck. Fastball, low ball, three, three and nothing. Had a couple of brief showers. Right now it's not raining. Still quite overcast overhead. The wind has shifted since the first game started. Three nothing pitch, low ball, four. Barton gives up his third walk in the ball game. Long goes to second. Schmidt to first. Two out here. Chuck Cotia. Cotia 0 for 1. Pops up to Scarin in the second inning. Right hand hitting second baseman. Chuck was 0 for 4 in the first game. Pitch is a curve low, ball one. The Yankees leading three to nothing. They scored all three runs in the first inning. On a two-run homer by Maris and a solo homer by Mantle. Mantle hit his right-handed in the right field seat. One-nothing pitch is fouled in the upper deck and out of play. One and one. Ball, one strike, two out, and two on. Long is second. Schmidt is first. Bowden taking plenty of time for this time. Now he's ready. Curve high and tight. Ball two, two and one. Fastball foul back in the upper deck, out of play. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two out. Two men on. Anthony outfield not too deep on Cotter. Straight away.
Burnside is due to be the next batter. Here's the stretch. Curves hit in the ground of the shortstop. Press comes in. Up with a flip. Starts to throw to... He's out at first, and Cotier is jumping up in the air. And George Tucci is out. He's just started to go to second base for the fourth play. Saw that he couldn't get him there. Then threw to first, and it was mighty close at first. But first base umpire Red Rungi called him out. On a close decision for the Senators. In the top of the fourth, no runs, one hit. No Yankee errors, two men left. And at the end of three and a half... It's the Yankees three and the Senators nothing. For the Yankees, it'll be Elson Howard, Bill Scowan, and Hector Lopez to face Pete Burnside here in the bottom of the fourth with the Yankees leading three nothing. Washington won the first game four to two. Well, the Mets have tied up the Phillies 5-5 in the eighth inning. They've lost two heartbreakers down there at Philadelphia. Elston Howard bounced to second base in the first inning. Ellie Prince hit in the first game, bounced out. Pitch to Howard is a foul back of the plate, strike one. Change up hit to the left of the shortstop. Johnson bobbles the ball. Oh, no, he didn't throw. He had the ball, bobbled it, started to throw, and then held up. It's an error charge to the shortstop. It was a high bounding ball, and it seemed to skip off the heel of Johnson's glove, hit him in the chest, bounced on the ground. Johnson picked it up quickly and then decided not to throw. So he's charged with an error, and here's the Moose who bounced to third base in the first inning. Nobody out. Pitch to Scowan. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Hector Lopez on deck. There's the stretch. Pitch is low. One of one. That was a good screwball by Burnside. Pete checks the sign from Schmidt. Here's his stretch. Pitch to the moose is popped in the air by coming back out of play. One ball, two strikes on Scowan. Gene Woodling, who has not been starting too many ball games for the Senators, pinch hit in the first game and homered. That tied up the ball game in the eighth inning, and then the Senators went on to score two more runs to win it. Ready for the one ball, two strike pitch. Here it is, and it's outside, and the high ball, two, two, and two. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out. Howard leads off first. There's a throw over there. Ellie back easily. He was only off a couple of steps. Then Stalin steps out of the batter's box. Now Moose is back in, and Burnside goes to the rosin bag. Finally, everybody ready. Here's the left-handed stretch position. His pitch is fouled to the left, going up near the light tower. And over the roof. And completely out of the ballpark. Still two and two on Moose. Moose has been taking a lot of extra batting practice. He's wearing the golf glove on his left hand. Pitch inside, ball three. Full count, three and two.
All right, Howard leads away, ready for the payoff pitch. We hit the throw to first base. Howard's back. Now the payoff pitch. Howard goes. The ball is hit on the ground in the hole. A base hit. Howard rounds second. Going to go to third base. Here's the throw. Down rounds the bag. Going to second. And Moose goes in at second base. It's a single for Stalin. And on the play, Howard was running and went right on the third. Hicks made a soft toss in the third base. And Stalin kept right on running. O'Connell didn't even have a chance to throw the ball to second base. That's the fifth hit off for inside. And now with runners at second and third, nobody out. The Yankees leading 3-0. Here's Hector Lopez. Hector flies deep to right field in the second inning. And now the infield is coming in for possible play at the plate. Lined up by Burnside. Picks to Lopez. A ground ball at second. Cotia has it. Holds the runners on. Throws to first base for the out. And Chuck almost missed that ball as it skidded off the grass. Just did get it in the webbing of his glove. So it's one away. The infield still in here. Tom Church will hit back to the box in the second inning. Tuesday night will be Whitey Ford for the Yankees and Bill Monbochet for the Red Sox here at Yankee Stadium. Pete Burnside calls Bob Smith out for a little huddle. Elston Howard talking with Frank Cressetti at third. Dowling's at second. As one away. Checking the sign. Takes a look at Howard. Here's the windup. Pitch is low, ball one. Burnside ready. Check swing, but it's over. Strike one, one and one. Chess started to pull the trigger. Held up. Pitch was right down the pipe. Ready for the one one delivery. It's a ground ball base hit running and ends up at second base. So Hicks is charged with the error, allowing Tresh to go to second base. And the Yankees lead five to nothing. Brings up Jim Bowden, who bounced out to first base in the second inning. One away. Hicks to Jim is high ball one. For Tresh, that's his 20th hit on the year and gives him 11 runs batted in. One nothing delivery. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One and one. Yankees have five runs on six bases. Foul off the umpire's chest to catch a strike two. One ball and two strikes. at second, leading away. Pitch to Bowden is over strike three call. Bowden called out on strike. Burnside gets his first strike out of the ball game. And brings up Bobby Richardson as two for two. Bobby has doubled and single. He scored once.
two out. Pitch to Bobby is full foul. Way back in the seats down the left field line. Strike one. Side pitch again is one strike delivery. Low ball one, one and one. Richardson with his two base hits has now tied Fleet Boyer for the team lead in base hits. They each have 26. Roger Maris is 25. One and one on Richardson. Foul just the Lord. One ball, two strikes. Burnside starts the stretch, then steps back off the rubber, goes to the rosin bag, checking the sign again with Schmidt. Two men are out, two runs in, the Yankees leading 5 nothing here in the last of the fourth. Now the left hand is ready. A line drive to left field, but Hicks moving back under it, takes it. For the Yankees in the bottom of the fourth, two runs on two base hits. Two center to errors, one man left, and at the end of four full innings, it's the Yankees five and the Senators nothing. Well, we've got a pretty rich young man standing out there on the mound. He's from um, Ridgewood, New Jersey. Folks are here, I'm sure, looking on. W-O-K-O, Albany, New York. He starts, second major league ball game, and as he goes into the fifth inning, which is a moment of truth as far as the starting pitcher, you know, if you don't go five, you uh, cannot be considered for the win. He's got a five-nothing lead. He's got two fine catches by Lopez in left field and two double plays behind him. Jim Bouton, B-O-U-T-O-N. Down at Amarillo, Texas last year. 113, lost seven. Now we're going to have a pinch hitter. John Shivey, uh, an infielder, S-C-H-A-I-V-E. Shivey is going to hit for Pete Burnside. Got matters off in the fifth inning. Right hand batter and takes the fastball low inside. Ball one. Up there, taking over for a call strike. First hitter up, inning five, and then we'll have a new pitcher last half of the fifth inning. The skies are clearing somewhat, although they're still overcast. He swings at a curveball, low outside, by two. Uh, Washington in four innings has had four hits. Up out. He's, uh, he's walked three, but he's had an airtight defense behind it. One, two, pitch. Hang on and miss. I think that was a knuckleball. Bad strike. Strike three. That's his first strikeout. Now we have Jim Pearsall, who has walked in single. Jim playing on a bad ankle, which is uh, tightly taped. He can run straight ahead, but it bothers him when he has to turn. First pitch inside, ball one. Right hand bottom, then right handed pitcher. Mountain is 23, 6 feet, 170 pounds. Breaking ball low outside, ball two. One man out. Inning five, game two. Misses with a fastball low inside, ball three. Three and all. 
Uh, Pearsall is an easy man to walk. If you don't put it over, he'll take it. Handed delivery over for the strike. Three and one. Chris Hall doesn't think so. And of course, Jim is a man who keeps his opinion strictly to himself. Now, the 3 1 pitch is low inside ball four. Chris Hall is on for the third straight time. This is the fourth walk of Cotton. Now we have Danny O'Connell who banged into a first inning double play and then singled a cutter in the third. He's one for two. Washington uh, made off with the first game four to two. Yankees are leading in this one five all. This is the odd game of the series. Big curveball is in for the strike. The Yankees uh, play the cadets up at West Point tomorrow. And then uh, they're back in league business for the first night game of the season here at the stadium uh, Tuesday. Boston. And Wednesday afternoon, Boston. Fastball low inside. Ball one. One and one. Problem came down to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, had a good book on him, promising pitcher. But he just kept uh, pitching well enough in the spring. He just came out on north with the club. Here he is. There's a ground ball hit back to the mound. Barton fields it, goes to second base, and uh, touches up with it. Barton almost threw it away. He threw it on the left field side of second base, and Trish had to drop down to his knees, uh, block the ball, and then pick it up. So they get the fourth anyhow. The final reaches first. Fourth out. Two men gone. And the hitter is Joe Hicks. Walked in the first inning and hit into a double play in the third. Left hand bottom, they play him to pull somewhat into right field. Six to third, low inside, ball one. Mountain is never still. He wipes the perspiration of his face. Or would be perspiration after practically every pick. Delivers as a knuckleball that is hit foul outside third base. One and one. Uh, judging by the way that Bob is always moving and uh, shaking himself inside of his uniform and wiping the perspiration, uh, he must be uh, fairly high strung. You have fellows like that. This off, for example, is never still for Washington. Jim taking the sign, pitching with his 5 nothing lead. The runner goes as a ball swung on, hit high out to straightaway right field. It's an easy chance for Maris. And Roger makes the catch. Uh, no runs, no hits, one up. And um, Bob is now uh, running for a pitcher of record. And the score at the end of four and a half innings, a fifth ball game. The Yankees five, and the Suns is nothing. At any Atlantic dealers, when you get an oil change or a new filter, you can have a beautiful 12-feet Anchor Hocking Fire King Ovenware set for only $2.79. And now is the time to take advantage of an exceptional offer like this because it's the season to drain out that dirty winter motor oil from your crankcase and replace it with high detergent Atlantic Premium Motor Oil. Just one month of winter driving is enough to contaminate the motor oil in most cars. And now, with a season of good driving weather ahead, an oil and filter change will help to start you off with a proper lubrication for your car. And remember, at Atlantic, a full set of Anchor Hawking Ovenware can be yours with that oil change or a filter and just $2.79. Uh, 
side was uh, removed for Prince Hitter, a uh, shiny, and Tom Cheney, a right-hander, who was uh, last year with Columbus before he came to Washington to finish the season. Tom Cheney coming on for his fifth relief assignment. He has no record so far this year. Tom Cheney, C-A-T-N-E-Y. He has been um, trying to come up with a knuckleball lately. Official ball game, and that's important because we've had something weather ever since the start of the second game, and we had a pretty heavy shower in the first inning in which the umpires, uh, you could see that they were debating whether to call time or not, but they didn't kept on going, and the shower uh, blew out, passed on. And then we had a lighter shower in the second inning. There was no question about stopping the fence. And while we've had uh, uh, some gray skies uh, there in the getting the ball game official was the fact that we're in a rain pattern. Because the game at Pittsburgh has been rained out, the game down at Philadelphia was held up for a considerable period of time at the end of seven innings. And by the way, the Mets and the Phillies uh, tied five and five in the tenth inning of that one. Uh, this one is the uh, five-all favor of the Yankees, and we have Boyer, who is 0 for 2. Uh, I'll check with Bill King, our statistician, but I think that Mattel has passed him now in, uh, in batting uh, percentage points. As the ground ball hit back to the mound, I know he's passed it now because he's out and making it over three. Just to the first. Roger Maris hit a home run in the first inning, and he's hit safer now in 11 straight games. Um, Yankees really uh, started off with a bang in the second game, a double by Richardson, and then after Boyer popped up, now it's a home run and Mantle a home run. There is a, I believe that's that knuckleball, uh, manager Vernon told me that Cheney was working on it. That was low inside, now it wants to have the ball examined. It is examined by um, John Flaherty, and he throws it out. Uh, Mantle has a uh, very good eye. There was an interesting thing uh, late last year. One of his home runs, I think it was his 50 seconds. The pitch was not very high inside ball, too. Now it's asked Charlie uh, Berry, who was in back at the plate in that ball game, to examine the ball. And uh, <laughs> Berry wouldn't do it. In other words, the umpire can examine it or not examine it. So he feels that he should or not. Uh, I put that side ball, three, And then... Uh, that's our little heart that Maris didn't hit it in the stands for a home run and the ball bounced back on the field and he got it and he gave it to Barry after the ball gave an autograph and said this is the ball <laughs> uh, you, you thought I could see there's ball four so Maris walk and here's Mattel stepping to the plate and Mickey is now um, hitting 362 uh, Boyer who is off for three in the second game is 351 so uh, Mickey has passed him. Well, I think it's sooner or later he would. No, that. Mantle, a uh, home run hitting right handed in the first inning, and he hit it to the opposite field. Then he popped up the short in the third. Now he's up batting left handed against the lead right handed Tom Cheney. The pitch. Fastball high, side ball one. Nothing fair for the Yankees. Got Maris at first with a walk. Mickey takes low. Ball two. Two and all. Two balls, no strike. One down. Infield and double play depth with the man at first. Side ball three. Mantle hit a home run in the first game today. He hit two today. And he hit that on a 3 nothing pitch, so I think everybody understands he's not to be trusted. Uh, he told me in the dugout before the double had a start that he was going to start swinging in more pitches. And it kept taking so many.
Now, Cheney is ready to work 3 and all. Delivers. And Mickey swings in there. The high five ball to deep center field. Pierce ball going back. He's getting under it. And he makes the catch right in front of the 4 7 mark. And Maris goes on down to second base standing. Advancing after the catch. The ball was hit that deep. Mickey, uh, I think, hit Andre just a little bit. He uppercutted it to the shade. Now we have Howard, who is 0 for 2. He got on to an arrow short in the fourth inning, and that opened up the way for two unearned runs. Two down. Shade Delson into left. Now this will move back to straight away in center. There's a knuckleball high inside, ball one. Pichetti coaching it there, and he goes to the stadium. Wally Moses over his first. Knuckleball again is inside. Two. He first came up to the stadium as a ball player in 32, and he's been here ever since. Been a lot of World Series, hasn't he? The 2 nothing pitch is low outside ball three. Now it's the second base. Howard up there, Sharon on deck. The Yankees are uh, already ahead 5-0. Washington took the first game out here. Uh, four to two. Right hand to Cheney delivers and it's over for the strike. Greenway. Now it takes a quick slide to Spaghetti. Third base coach. It's a knuckleball that gets away from the catcher long enough for Maris to go down to third base. So it is ball four to Howard, and we'll see. And it's a charge wild pitch at the same time. So Howard walks, and on the wild pitch, which is on ball four, Maris goes over and takes um, third. Remember that ball four, that ball's in play. For example, if it's a ball that gets away from the catcher and the runner thinks he can take an extra base, uh, he's on his own if he can do it. So that was a wild pitch and a base on balls at one time. Now I have Cowan as a knuckle low outside, ball one. One is a first and third, two out. The most was robbed of a base hit by a fine play by third baseman O'Connell in the first inning, and then he singles uh, into left field in the fourth. One for two. Takes a strike. Just puts the knees on the outside. One and one. Bob Smith is catching. Rips it off the first game. There's a high foul ball back out of play. Strike two. One and two. One ball, two strikes, two down. We'll run over the scores of the other games when we get to the end of this fifth inning. Have an opportunity. Bulletin just flashed on the big board here at the stadium. Mickey Mantle's on base average this season is 567. Fantastic, isn't it? That's getting on base. Walk. Everything on. Fritz swung on, foul back. Now that's it, sir. 
power to first. Ball game is official. Everything now counts. The home club ahead after four and a half innings. Head the 5-0 in this case. Continue, relieving, delivers, and Sean swings and strikes out. Fire on him, throw it hard, it looked like a slider. So that is all for the bid, set up by the pitcher himself. No runs, no hits, two left. Two walks in a wild pitch. Totals at the end of five. Uh, for the Yankees, five runs, uh, six hits and no errors. For Washington, no runs, four hits and two errors. Quality is not a word or a win. At this spot in your dial, it means the best of everything at 1460. WOKO, Albany, New York. It's three minutes past six o'clock. Now, about other ball games. The Red Sox, you know, are coming in here. Um, and they've got to come in here a hot ball club with what they've been doing back there at home. They're coming in here Tuesday night, Wednesday afternoon. They beat the White Sox in the first game three to two today. In the second game, at the end of six innings, however, Chicago is trying to even the books and leading 5 nothing, uh, trying to win one out of this series up there. At the end of three innings out on the coast, it's a 5-5 tie, Baltimore at Los Angeles. The big blow that got Baltimore even was a grand slammer by Brooks Robinson in the third inning. Uh, Cleveland uh, had Grant uh, be the winning pitcher he started uh, and won at Kansas City 5-1. In a single game, Detroit at Minnesota, that one tied at 7-7 in the last half of the eighth inning. National League at the end of 10, uh, the Mets and the Phillies were tied at 5-5 five and five after a long delay because of rain at the end of the seventh inning. Uh, Los Angeles and Pittsburgh played an inning and then the rain got it. Uh, San Francisco at Chicago, the Giants got back to winning. Uh, Willie Mays hitting his 10th home run and San Francisco won at 7-3. Uh, Cincinnati uh, eked out St. Louis in the first game of a doubleheader five to four. Here's Long, first up here in the sixth inning, taking a strike in about. Uh, Milwaukee uh, beat Houston three to two in the first of a doubleheader, and the amazing Mr. Spawn got the win, number three hundred and twelve in his notable career. At the end of four innings of the second, Houston is leading uh, three to one. Long hits the ground ball through in the right field for a base hit. So you're up on the other ball game. Long comes up with his third straight hit and his fifth of the day, single into right field. Apparently, uh, Bowden has been no puzzle to him. And now we have Jim King, who is 0 for 2. He had a big bat yesterday, but he's been stopped today. 5 0 uh, in favor of the Yankees. First game was won by Washington, 4 2. That ball is low inside, ball one. Bowden throws the fastball, throws the curve. Once in a while, the change of face, he throws the palm. And then he throws the knuckleball. That's a ground ball that is hit to Sharon at first. He goes to second with shortstop and back to first base, not in time. The ball gets through. Um, the pitch is coming, but it hit the rail in front of the box seats, and there's no advance at first base. Put the covering, but it hit the rail in front of the box seats, and there's no advance to first base. It's nothing except a fourth play, the first baseman through the shortstop. King is on at first, charge him with a fourth out. Now we have Bob Johnson, who is 0 for 2. And last time, uh, Lopez uh, made a catch in deep left field on him. Playing him a step or so around into left in the outfield. Infield is straight away. Breaking ball low outside, ball one. That may have been that uh, palm ball pitch. I noticed that when Bob was warming up right down in front of us, he would signal the catcher, indicating he was going to throw a palm pitch. Fastball is low, ball two. Then he would indicate he was going to throw a knuckleball. Then he would indicate he was going to throw a curveball. Then he would indicate he was going to throw a fastball. All right, two balls, no strikes. One out, one with first. Six. High inside ball three. Three and all.
Fountain is the type of pitcher that you calculate before you have a start. He's going to throw a lot of pitches. That's the way he pitches. But the book on him is that he never lets up. He can get behind, he can be wild, but he still keeps uh, pumping him. Now, it's ball four. That's his fifth base on ball. And this pushes King, who is his first down to second. So we have these two runners with uh, one out. Howard goes out to the mound. The Yankee bullpen stirs again. In fact, they've been almost in motion out there. First Daly, and then Daly on coast. The batter is uh, the big young catcher, Bob Smith. They got him in a deal with the Reds, and uh, he had to have a knee operator. And the operation has so far been very successful. Lopez robbed him with an extra base hit when he went out in front of the auxiliary scoreboard and left center and caught his uh, long drive in the second inning. There is a curveball over for a call strike. Stoughton starts working on him. Smith uh, walks his second turn. So he's over one. He's a big stepping fella. Swings from the end. Stoughton set. Texas lead on his second delivers as a foul back on what I think he was another knuckleball. Just the knuckleball is an ideal pitch when you get ahead of a hitter. Nothing in two. No ball, two strikes. And it delivers a fastball swung on, hit down the left field. Lopez going back, going back, and makes the catch. <laughs> Go ahead, two down. They're making a star of Hector out there in left field the second game, or he's making a star out of himself. He's grabbing everything in sight. Now we have second baseman uh, Chuck Cartier. Howard is again out of the mound talking to Bowden. In case you wonder about the number of pitches that Dawson has thrown, uh, they're being counted in the Yankee dugout. Pitching coach knows and the manager knows. Sometimes that's what a manager goes on when he decides to uh, take a pitcher out or decide maybe to lead him in, the number of pitches. There's a ball hit trapping one bounce to Richardson, who's up with it, over the scow, and first for the third out. So, Dawson is out of that. He has had him on every inning but the second. And only a great catch by Lopez to bend the next to base hit in. No runs, one hit, two left. And the score, second game, and uh, five and a half innings. Remain New York five, Washington nothing. Now, sir, perhaps you'll be good enough to tell the jury where you were on April 10th at 2.25 a.m. Well, I started the car... And I was moving along... I see you were driving. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, uh, but actually I was... You mean to say you weren't driving? I was cleaning my carburetor as I was driving. Mr. Wilson, do you expect this intelligent jury to believe that you were operating a motor vehicle in the middle of the night and cleaning its carburetor at the same time? Come now, you're under oath. So help me. I got this tank full of Atlantic Imperial gasoline. It cleans your carburetor while you drive and keeps it clean. Are you testifying that a gasoline can actually clean a carburetor, smooth out idling, prevent stalling? No, no, no. Not any gasoline. Atlantic Imperial. I'm afraid I don't get it, Mr. Wilson. Then you've got a dirty carburetor. Last half of inning six, game two. First game won by the Senators, four to two, and the Yankees leading in this one, five to nothing. It'll be Lopez, Fresh, and Bowden. Pretty such as Tom Cheney on the mound. He was secured from the Columbus Club out of the Pittsburgh organization uh, late last year. Big Burns had much the first four. The uh, fourth and fifth runs are not uh, to be charged as earned. There's a fastball high inside, putting Lopez down in the dirt. We to get that. Let's him himself off. Next 
Lucas 0 for 2. And into the ball game hitting 286. Swings and has a high foul deep back to first base, close to the stands and into them. Long went over just to make certain. The Red Sox here Tuesday night, Wednesday afternoon. Then the club is gone for a week, and then the Red Hot Twins from Minnesota come in for Friday night, May 18. Latest day, Saturday, May 19, and the doubleheader Sunday, which is two weeks from today. And the Grand Central Ticket Office is open Monday through Fridays, 8.30 to 6, for your convenience in mid-Manhattan, and Saturdays until 4 o'clock. Pitch it outside, ball two. Right now, the Cheney delivers, and it's at the third in there, and it is two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Mickey Vernon got a, a wonderful two-inning relief job from Steve Hamilton, his new left-hander, one of the two uh, young pitchers he got in a deal with Cleveland. Fantastic to the Indians. Breaking ball high outside. Uh, Lopez is on. Ball four. Fred Walk given up by Cheney. And now we've got uh, Tom Kress, who is one for two. Had no hits in the first game. Pretty much an M and M show so far today. Marathon Mantle, as far as the Yankee offense goes. Mickey's had uh, two home runs and a single. There's a breaking ball over for twelve strikes to strike. He was hitting left-handed now against right-handed uh, Cheney. Maris, in addition to his home run, had a pair of doubles in the first game. Pick low inside, ball one. There's nobody out last year, six. That's his five, Washington nothing. Cheney's a long man out of the bullpen, which uh, in a game like this, you might say is never a thing is expendable. But there are times in which somebody's got the pitch. That's a serve that is good for a call second strike. One and two. Kenny being somewhat delivered, now goes over to first base with his move. Long return. Lopez wasn't off the bag at all. Back to the plate after giving the sign. The pitch is swung on and popped up. It's a high foul ball halfway back to the stand. Chester Smith is under. He has it. And they have one out. Now we're waiting for young uh, Jim Bowden to come up and hit. And there he comes. He's over two as a batter. This is a big day in the young man's life. First spot in the major league. And the Yankees have certainly cooperated to make it a good one. He got him three runs in the first inning, and with the assistance of an arrow at short, uh, got him two more in the fourth, and the fielding behind him has been uh, airtight. Right hand batter. Now they may want him to bunt. Turns his into is looking for it. There's the bunt effort to foul back on the screen. No balls, one strike. I'm looking at Presetti to see if Howe still has the bunt on. The sky is a clearing. In the first uh, two innings, it looks as though they might not uh, be able to get the second game in. There's the bunt. Attempt fouled on the ground outside first base by two. But then the weather cleared again after prepping. The thing that made it seem more threatening was the fact that the year was raining in Philadelphia. Raining in Pittsburgh. Raining in Cincinnati. One 
one down, man at first, Lopez. Long holding the bag against him. Outfield is short way out for the pitcher up here. He takes inside, ball one. Third baseman O'Connell is not convinced that he's not going to be bunting, even though he does have two strikes on him. He's charging him. Martin Pitcher looks at Cassetti. He wasn't going to bunt this last time. He set the swing. Cheney pitches and Barton cuts. Hits a high foul ball out of play. Back to first base. Looking again. Not holding one and two. End of eight innings. Detroit and Minnesota remain tied at seven and seven. Los Angeles at the end of four has gone one up over Baltimore, seven to six. Cheney pitches. His curve is high inside on the ball two. Two and two. Full serve. Two balls, two strikes. The release man ready. Deals. There's a swing, another foul. And it's still two and two. Get you some of the crowd reaction and scramble. We had a paid attendance of 23,940. That's the 24,000. Two pitch. Over. Call strike three. He just snapped it over and bounced the fire. Took it. Now he has two down last of the six for the hitter is Richardson, who uh, had his hitting uh, swing stopped the last game at Chicago, and then he didn't get a hit the um, first two games in this series. But he's had three line drives, and two of them uh, have gone uh, safe here in the second game. Double and a single. The third one was hit right at the left fielder. Bobby has caught up with Boyum for the most hits on the team with 26. Swings and hits a fly ball out the right center. Fist ball moves under. The center field awaiting. Has it. That's it. Total at the end of six. Uh, five runs, six hits, and no errors for New York. No runs, five hits, and two errors for Washington. Let's uh, recheck on the other ball games. End of 11 innings, first game of a doubleheader. They met at Philadelphia 5-5. Five and five. A rain at the end of 7. For a long time, held up and up. The uh, game was hanging with the Pittsburgh after the inning was rained out. Uh, San Francisco got back on the other side of the road at Chicago, winning 7-3, and Mr. Willie Mays hit his 10th home run in the first inning. with one on to get him started. Uh, Cincinnati uh, held off St. Louis. And one uh, first game of a doubleheader, five to four, and it's no score at the end of the inning and a half of the second. Milwaukee uh, had won Swan go all the way for a 3 2 win over Houston in the first of a doubleheader. That's the 312th win for the mixed master. That makes him uh, ninth in the uh, uh, total wins for pitchers. In the second game, uh, at the end of five and a half, it is Houston four and Milwaukee one. In the American League, the uh, Red Sox, who are coming in here Tuesday night and Wednesday, Won their first game from the White Sox 3-2. At the end of seven, the other way around, Chicago and back of their young rookie uh, right-hander, Harlan, uh, five. And the Red Sox, nothing. At the end of four innings, it is um, Los Angeles seven and Baltimore six. Uh, Cleveland won a single with Kansas City five to one. Minnesota has just won the ball game from Detroit. Uh, Bernie Allen has hit a home run in the ninth inning. The two on to win it ten to seven. Boy, the Twins are really sizzling. I mean, they're making runs and they're hot. Now we have Hamlin uh, hitting for Cheney. Since Cheney is starting out as off here in the seventh inning, Senate is behind five to nothing. Ken Hamlin, infielder, H A M L I N. Hitting for the relief pitcher. Start of the seventh. Pitch is all for ball two. Two 
two balls, no strikes. Bum has done a lot of work. Done a lot of pitches, given a five hits, walked five. There is a pitch in for a call strike. And I think on every hitter he has uh, made a lot of pitches, but I'm just looking at the book now. Let me see. First inning, second inning, third inning. Fourth inning, fifth inning. He had a lot of man to third base. Pitches low outside, ball three. Three and one. Takes off his cap, up the perspiration. He never kept him standing uh, completely still, except at the instant that he is reading a sign from the catcher. And that's just a feeding instant. Pitch is over for the strike. That would have changed the pace. Three and two. Two balls, two strikes. The Yankees uh, keep the bullpen ready. hitting, right hand batter, swings and hits a high fly ball out into right field. Norris to treat, turns, waits, has it. So have one away, starting inning seven. Now Jim Pearsall, they haven't kept him off base in the second game. The uh, first assignment of the leadoff man is to get on and Pearsall has fulfilled it. Two walks and a single. straight away. Right hand hitter leads in. Breaking ball low outside. Ball one. A young man delivers the pass ball on the outside. Ball two. Two and all. George Case pushing down to third. George Susie pushing to first. Robin Hensley is in the bullpen. Sid Hutch is in the dugout. There's the pitch wide, ball three. Three and off. Three balls, no strike. Martin left out his breath. Now Rock delivers. Over for the strike, and it's three and one. again. Delivers inside, ball four. So Pearsall is on with his third walk. And this is six walks given up by Bowden. And we have Danny O'Connell, who is one for three. Put into a double play in back of a first inning walk to Pearsall. Single in back of Jim, single in the third. And then uh, hit into a fourth play in back of Pearsall's walk in the fifth. I feel is laid back into right on O'Connell. And delivers and it's a third ball low. Ball one. Clarity back of the plate on balls and strikes. He's cleaning up the dish right now. Rungi at first. Cadogan is at second. And Hurley is at third. Hmm. The time side. Ball two. Time is call. Here is Hart going out to the mound. Uh, this fellow has thrown an awful lot of pitches this juncture. And there's the Yankee skipper walking out there with a 35 on his back. One thing in addition to winning the ball game, also a manager has to uh, be certain that he is taking care of a pitcher, especially a young pitcher, and doesn't allow him to do too much work and hurt himself. And maybe this, uh, let's see, Ralph now is just trying to settle him down. So this is the one visit that under American League rules the manager is permitted to make. And I would say that uh, if um, if Martin continues to throw many more pitches, I, w- I would think that Ralph will have him out of there. No matter what the score is. Bailey and Coach have been working in the bullpen. Uh, they're ready. They're still working. Pitch is over for the strike. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. Martin's done a lot of work. 
Inside, ball three. Green one. O'Connell, a veteran. Tough man to fool. Just all is dashing around off first base, trying to misdirect uh, the attention of Bowden. The pitch is uh, over for the strike, three and two. Three balls, two strikes. Send Chris on an to be seen. The percentage is uh, slight, if they will, because when you're behind five nothing, you can't do much fencing. If you want to know about strategy, just find out what the score is first, and the strategy will follow. Chris all does go, and the pitcher is taken. It's all strike three. They throw on second base, and he is out. Well, that's what you mean. You can't run when you're behind. But they did. It's a double play. Uh, Double play started with the second third strike at the plate and was concluded with what is uh, scored as an attempted steal uh, to the sixth. So, second strike out for Bowden and the score at the end of uh, six and a half innings in the second game remains uh, the Yankees five and the turn is nothing. You know, way back when a crank was standard equipment, keeping a car in good running condition was really hard work. Today's fine cars are many times more complicated than the old Maxwells and Stutz Bearcats, but taking proper care of them actually gets easier all the time. For example, cleaning the carburetor of your car was once a mechanic's job, but now you can do it yourself as you drive, simply by using Atlantic Imperial gasoline. When you use Atlantic Imperial regularly, you can remove harmful dirt deposits that form on the lower carburetor walls. In time, such deposits can cause rough idling, stalling, gasoline waste. But Atlantic Imperial washes them harmlessly away in just a few thousand miles of ordinary driving. Use Atlantic Imperial regularly in your car. It's the gasoline that cleans your carburetor as you drive and keeps it clean. on to the last half of the seventh inning, and uh, a young right-hander from Jersey City, Jim Hannan, H-A-N-N-A-N, is coming in. He's tall, 6'3", uh, 200 pounds. He's been down in the bullpen all in there, too. He was at uh, Oliad last year. with 117 and lost seven. He's 0-2 with Washington this year. He uh, is coming on for his seventh ball game, and he's had two starts, Jim Hannan. And we've got plenty of time right now to start into a pause for station identification. He's here every Monday through Saturday mornings from 6 to 10 to tell you why and when. Jeff Davis time on WOKO, Albany, New York. The time, 6.32. A little bit more on Jim Hannon. He graduated from Notre Dame and was signed by the Red Sox along with Yasemke uh, in his freshman year. He was drafted by the Senators off the Seattle roster. And he's continuing his school work in the offseason, studying for a, a master's degree in business at NYU. Okay, so we got the other side of the river pitching against each other now. Ridgewood, New Jersey, and Barton. New Jersey City, New Jersey. And Jim Hannon. Boy, a first station in the last of the seventh inning. Uh, Boyer has been stopped today, and Mantle has caught up and passed it in batting for Kennedy. Uh, the third ball is low. Ball one. Five on New York. And I'm ready. Look at the curve, swung on and missed. One and one. Pass ball low outside, ball two. Turn one. The bulletin on the scoreboard. You want to make a note about it. It's a reference to the uh, big day of the year. Here's the big ball pause. Old Timers Day, which will be Saturday, July 28th, honoring the new Hall of Famer. 
A good curve is over for a tall stuck at sight. Sight? Two and two. Big day all the way. The White Sox will also be here on July 28th. Now, the pitch is a curve low outside, three and two. Jim Hannon delivering. Yankees holding five nothing edge. Boy up, Norris on deck, then Mantle. Curve, he couldn't check his swing, he'll go outside and struck out. Well, now let's see the MM boy. They've been having a big day. Between them, they represent uh, three home runs, two doubles, three singles. Marriage is just taken 11 straight games. No, one single. Three home runs, two doubles, one single. Pretty good bag, isn't it? First pitch is outside, ball one. Now, Hannon is a big young right-hander. Maris is an old left-hand hitter. Pass ball is low inside, ball two. Two and all. They've got the overshift. We've got three men uh, packed in the right side of the infield on Maris. Actual Jessica has gone into right. Roger takes low, ball three. Three and Maris and Mantle, he's had five home runs. Maris is well ahead of his pace of last year. O'Connell is almost over second base now. Pitch is in there for the strike. Well, this is the most over shift I've ever seen. As a rule, they leave the third baseman no worse than halfway between second and third. O'Connell is over where Shortstop would be playing straight away. Roger takes high, ball four. Well, based on balls, and it's just Mandel up. Got a home run in each game and a single in the first game. And the pitch is batting left-handed against the young uh, relief right-hander, Jim Hannon. Pitch is low inside, ball one. Mantle is dug in. Maris is first, one out. That's the first pitches, and Mantle swings as a drive to deep right field. It is gone. It's in the lower side, right alongside the bullpen for his third home run today, and it's six to a year. Savage uh, line drive. It never got high. Uh, he just really caught it. It was whoop, right in there. Well, that's three home runs today for Mickey. Wow. He said before the game he was going to start swinging more. Austin Howard takes the curve high outside ball one. Needless to relate, it is now seven to nothing in favor of New York. Three runs with his two homers here in the second game. His RBI is now at 16, the most on the ball club. As the most home runs with six. Now it swings at a curve, that is a strike one. Two and one. Well, this has been uh, an amazing show for the M boys. You know, as a rule, one's hitting and the other one's not. Today they've both been hitting. And that's. But you look back and you wonder how that first game got away. But they loaded most of it in the second game. Took outside ball three. Three balls, one strike. Now it cuts on the curve, and it's now three and two. Three balls, two strikes. Uh, 
has a ground ball that hits slowly up toward third. O'Connell has to hurry. He throws. Just in time, thanks to a long stretch by Long. So Howard is out by a It was a good play all the way around. In that uh, first game, the Yankees had uh, four hits, and Lawrence and Mantle got them all. Well, the Farmers had seven hits between them. Four home runs. Big day for Mickey. There's Cowan. Swing, falling it off. 7-0 New York here in the second. Mantle has batted in uh, five runs today. Pitches uh, outside, ball one. One ball, one strike. say that uh, they pitch terribly outside. I'd say the young Washington players are pretty much impressed by uh, uh, certainly uh, Matt, who's had a tremendous series. And yesterday's game, he had a home run and a single. So he's had four home runs and two singles. Two on pitch in the dirt. Ball three. One strike. And delivers high inside, ball four. Let's get Lopez up. Hector has made a couple of fine catches out in left field. He's been on once with a walk. He's off the two, officially. This is his fourth turn. First for the walk. Hannon delivers and it's a pass ball high for ball one. That feels straight away on Hector. Infield is positioned uh, also straight away. Right handed pitches and it's in for the strike. He took a little bit off of his fastball, change of pace. Ball two. That's one. That's ball high inside. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. Two out. Inside and high for ball four, and he walks. Well, Hannon has walked three here. Guess he's pretty well guarded by Matt O'Connor. Now he's got uh, Tom Fresh. He's a switcher, hitting left handed against uh, the second relief man for Mickey Vernon. Runners at first and second. Defense are around for right somewhat. First takes a high inside serve. Ball one. Well, they're already digging in the books now to see how far ahead Marek is ahead of his uh, 61 home run pace of last year. Also, they're digging in something else. Uh, well, this is about Mantle. Doesn't it? As a ground ball hit uh, through in the right field, the base hit. There's Starn coming around third. They're bringing him onto the plate. Lopez is coming into third base, and it is an eight to nothing ball game. Single by a touch in the right field. This is his third run by the in the second game. So here's what the dope is. 
Uh, this is the ninth time that Mato has uh, six hit home runs in the same ball game, which is a major league record. The ninth time in Mickey's career that he has hit a home run, that is two home runs in the game from opposite sides of the plate. Now we have Jim Barton, who is the rich young man, the recipient of all these runs, eight of them, taking a call strike. Today is May 6th, right? Barton takes uh, strike two. And uh, Maris has hit his fourth home run today on the 6th of May. He did not hit his fourth home run last year until the 17th of May. And oddly enough, he hit his fourth one last year at uh, off Washington and off Burnside, which is the same thing that happened today. There's a foul ball up toward third. Isn't that something? I was hitting his fourth home run last year and this year. He gets the same balls up and the same pitcher. Well, if you keep looking in the record books, uh, well, Rogers hit his, hit his fifth today. And his fifth home run last year was uh, on the 19th. You get that one off Terry, please. Now it's five, uh, nine or six. So off they go again. At eight nothing New York, Barton two strikes on him, swing, falls it back. Two. As the ground ball hit to the right side, second base is Tadia up with it over to first along, and that's the third off. So in the last half of the seventh, three runs, two hits. And totals at the end of seven, 8 8 0 for New York, 0 5 2 for Washington. Jack Reed has gone in to play center field in place of Mickey Mantle. As we get ready to go in the top of the eighth inning. Joe Hicks leads off. Hicks walks, hit into a double play, fly to right field. Jim Bowden on the mound. His pitch to Hicks on the inside corner strike called. On deck, Dale Long. Low curve foul at the plate, strike two. Washington won the first game 4-2. to two. Young Dave Stenhouse making his first start in the big league. Picked up the win. And here's Jim Barton making his first start in the big league. And he has an 8 nothing lead going into the top of the eighth inning. Two strike pitch. Low. Ball one. And a roar that just went up. The Mets beat the Phillies in the first game of a doubleheader. 7-5. In 12 innings. They lost two heartbreakers to the Phillies. And then win this one in extra inning. Change up, swung it, and missed strike three. Looked like a palm ball that Bowden slipped up there. Had Hicks way out in front. Here's Dale Long, who's had a perfect day today. Three for three in his second ball game. And in the first game, Dale was two for three. So he's had five for six in the doubleheader. Pretty fair day. One out, nobody on. On deck, Jim King. It's too long. The curveball is low. Ball one. Bowden comes back with a fastball low. Ball two, two and nothing. Nothing pitch way inside ball three. Three nothing count to Dale Long. Bowden goes to the rosin bag. One out, nobody on. Fastball is low, ball four. And that's the seventh walk given up by Bowden. Brings up Jim King. Fly to left. Fly to center and bounce to first base. K 
McGowan will play in back of the runner, Dale Long, at first base. Senators trail 8 nothing. They're not going to try and steal any bases now. Curveball is high, ball one. And they're getting up in the Yankee bullpen. So Barton has allowed only five hits. He's thrown a lot of pitches in this ball game. There's ball two, two or nothing. The two nothing pitch right down the middle, strike call. Bowden sets. Fastball is over strike two. Two and two. Yankees have Lopez, Reed, and Maris in the outfield now. Same infield that started. Boyer, Richardson, Shrek, and Scourin. Howard catching and Barton pitching. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Curve is fouled back off the screen. On deck, Bob Johnson. Bowden ready for the 2 2 pitch. A drive to deep right field, curving foul. It's plenty far enough to have been a home run. A line drive that carried deep into the stands with curving foul at the last second. Still two and two on the Senators' right fielder. Washington winning the first game four to two, and they trail here eight nothing. Side. Full count, three and two. The payoff pitch. Curve hit foul outside of first. a couple of down for us. Not too much. Guy's pretty clear right now. Again, the 3-2 pitch. Ground ball to second base. Richardson, the stretch for one. Back to first. Not time for the double play. Long out of second base. King safe at first. Here's Bob Johnson, 0 for 2. Bounce to short, fly to left, and walk. Yankees have made three double plays in this second ball game. Two out. Curve is high, ball one. Bob Schmidt on deck. Fastball hit on the ground to third. Boyer goes to second base for the fourth on King. For Washington in the top of the eighth inning. No runs, no hits, no Yankee errors. One man left. At the end of seven and a half, the Yankees eight and the Senators nothing. Folks, let's look in on Mr. Jeremiah Atrix, who just celebrated his 80th birthday. How does it feel to be 80, Mr. Atrix? Like a million, son. To what do you attribute your long life, sir? Well, I just make sure everything goes smooth. Uh, take my car. You still drive? Just to the gym. Now, as I was saying, my car used to idle something fierce. 
tore repeatedly, burned too much gasoline. This made you mad. Hopping mad. Well, sir. But then you learned this poor performance was due to harmful dirt deposits that had built up in the carburetor. And that Atlantic Imperial gasoline washes away such deposits as you dry. Just what I was about to yes, say. Yes, and uh, continued uh, use prevents new deposits from forming. You have peace of mind as you dry. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's been nice talking with you, Mr. Adrix. Have you any advice to give the younger generation based on your years of experience? Uh, yes, I do, son. Don't talk so darn much. Green, the big left hand at 6'4", 190 pounds, is coming on to take over. He's the fourth center to pitcher in this second ball game. He's 0-1 on the year. Big, tall left hander. He'll be pitching to the top of the Yankee batting order. Richardson, Boyer, and Mara. Right now, we'll pause for station identification. A cheerful airful each Monday through Friday mornings on the Bob Cathcart Show, 11-1. On the pacemaker station, WOKO, Albany, New York. Three minutes before seven, the current temperature 62 degrees. Bobby Richardson has doubled single line to left and fly to center field. Yankees scored three in the first inning, two in the fourth, and three in the seventh. Mantle is only twice, Maris once in the second ball game. Mantle is driven in three, Maris two, and Tom Tress is driven in three with two singles. I, Fred Green, pitching to Bobby Richardson. to Bobby is a strike call. Fastball just above the knees. Curve in the dirt. Ball one, one and one. wonder if they still got that blue law in Pennsylvania. Doesn't look like the Mets and the Phillies are going to play that second ball game. At one time, you couldn't start an inning after 6.59. When we used to play the old A's, we'd always get beaten out. Jimmy Dice would stall. Ground ball at second base. Chuck Cotier over to Dale Long, one away. They're supposed to play a doubleheader, the Mets and the Phillies. First game was held up so long because of rain. And a 12-inning ball game. That doesn't look like they're going to get that second game in. Here's Cleet Boy up. Hop to second, line to left, hit back to the box and struck out. On deck, Roger Maris. Pitch to Boyer is outside, ball one. strike and one out. Nobody on. A drive to right field. King going back turns and makes a one-hand catch and then brushes into the wall. He made it look easy on a hard smash by Boy at a deep right field. And had King not gotten back on that ball, it would have been a home run. A nice play by Jim King in deep right field. Cleet Boy has had a long day today. Cleet was 0 for 2 in the first game, 0 for 5 in his second ball game. Here's Roger Maris, a homer, two walks, and popped out. Roger takes a curve, low ball one. Jack Reed is on deck. He took over for Mantle last inning. Mickey ended with two home runs. Four times at bat, three runs batted in. Fastball brushes Roger back. Two balls, no strike. Left 
sent his pitch. He tried to check his swing and sat down on the ground, and he's arguing with Flaherty while sitting on the ground. It's a strike. Malice tried to check his swing and held up. And he's got a big grin on his face now. But he held up so shortly that he sat down on the ground. And while he was sitting down, he was talking with Flaherty. But now he's grinning. Two balls, one strike. One pitch, and that one almost hit Maris, and this time he falls down, and it's three and one. And Maris takes a long, hard look out at Fred Green. Three and one to count. Three one pitch, high and whoop. It looked like Flaherty started to put the right hand up for a stretch and then went to each his ear. <laughs> and Maris goes to first base. That's the third walk to Maris. That's getting a little late in the day and I'm getting silly, but to me it looked like Flaherty started to call a strike. And then saw Maris running the first and he said, well, let him go. He had a tough time at the plate that time. Here's Jack Reed. First time at bat. Swings and pops it up to the right side. Chuck Cotter and Dale Long. They're Long calling for it. And Long takes it for the third out. For the Yankees in the bottom of the eighth inning, no runs, no hits, no Senator errors, one man left. And at the end of eight full innings, it's the Yankees eight, the Senators nothing. Take a last look at the scoreboard. In the American League, the Red Sox beat the White Sox 3-2. Conley, the winner, Pizarro, the loser, carry on home it in the fourth. In the second game, it's the White Sox 5, the Red Sox nothing at the end of 8.5. Lound against Dallas. Los Angeles came up with 6 in the bottom of the 5th and lead Baltimore 13-7. to seven. Hall against Spring. Brooks Robinson home it in the 3rd with the bases loaded. Cleveland beat Kansas City 5-1. Grant the winner, Bass the loser. Kirkland home it with 2 on. Minnesota beat Detroit 10-7. Moore the winner, Aguirre the loser. Bruton home it with 1 on. Versailles with 2 on. And Allen in the ninth with 2 on. The National League, the Mets won the first game of a doubleheader 7 of 5. Anderson in relief, the winner. Boston in relief, the loser. And the second game has been postponed because of the curfew. Los Angeles at Pittsburgh postponed reign. The Giants beat the Cubs 7 3. Odell all the way to winner. Buell the loser. Willie Mays got his 10th of the year with one on in the first, Keen in the third. Cincinnati beat the Cardinals 5 4. Sisler the winner. Ferrasi the loser. Coleman Homer in the sixth. Second game, it's nothing, nothing at the end of three and a half. Gibson against Grabowski. Milwaukee beat Houston in the first game, 3-2. Spawn the winner on his 312th of his career. Golden the loser. Mejia Thoman in the third with one on. Brown in the seventh for Houston. Crandall in the fourth with nobody on for Milwaukee. Houston leads Milwaukee 8-1 at the end of eight innings of the second game. Farrell for Houston. Cleminger in there now for Milwaukee. Mejia has had two homers, one in the first, one in the eighth with two on, and Locker had one in the third. All right, this is at the top of the ninth. Bob Schmidt. Wings and lines went to left field, and that one drops in for a base hit. Schmidt has hit the ball hard three times. Lopez making two fine plays on him. This time he drops one in front of Lopez for a single. And that's the sixth hit off Jim Bowden. Brings up Chuck Cotter, who's over three. Pop to first, bounce to short, pop to second. Cotty has fouled back on the screen out of play. Gene Woodling is on deck. Woodling pinch hit in the first game in the eighth inning and hit a home run that tied up the game. One strike on Chuck Cotty. Curve is high ball, one, one, and one. Schmidt at first. Fastball is popped in the air. Tom Tress, the shortstop, moves back under it and takes it for the first out. That's one away, and here comes Gene Woodling. Woodling is batting for Green.
deck, Jimmy Fairstar. One away. Met at first. Yankees leading 8 nothing. The stretch and the pitch to Woodling is a curve over strike one call. Woodling likes to take that first pitch. Get a look at one ball, even when he's playing in the game regularly, and especially when he's pinch hitting. Very close stance, feet close together, and close to the plate. Severe crouch. Another curve. This one's outside one and one. Fastball is lined to right center field and in there for a base hit. Maris backhands the ball. Schmidt is going to third base and Woodling comes through with another pinch hit. This one a line single to deep right center field. That's the seventh hit off Barton, and here's Jimmy Pearsall. Pearsall's had a perfect day in the second game. A single and three walks. The Yankees leading 8 nothing with one away. Bowden in his first major league start. And Bob Schmidt is the first man to reach third base in this ball game against Bowden. The infield and double play depth. Stretch the pitch to Pearsall, a foul down the right field line. And I said foul a little too early. That ball was almost there. Looked like it was going to go way foul and just did go foul down the corner. One strike on Pearsall, on deck Danny O'Connell. And the pitch a curve popped in the air to right field. Smith is tagging up. Maris is under it. He makes the catch, and his throw comes into the plate, and Smith holds up. And what a throw Maris made. Maris was deep in right field. Smith, notoriously slow on his feet, was held at third base. And so Bowden still has a chance for the shutout with two away now. And the batter, Danny O'Connell, who hit into a double play, singled, bounced to the box, and struck out. Maris made an excellent throw from deep right field. One hop right to Howard. Two out, two on. The pitch to Danny O'Connell is a curved low ball one. Fastball swung it and missed strike one. And Bowden had a little bit of mustard on that fastball. Here's the stretch. Fastball is over strike two, just above the knee. One ball, two strikes. Taking plenty of time. Takes a couple of deep breaths. Woodling at first, Schmidt at third. Here's the pitch. Curve popped in the air to short center field. Jack Reed is coming in. He's under it and takes it to the out. And Bowden gets the shutout for the Senators in the top of the ninth. No runs on two hits, no Yankee errors, and two men left. And the Yankees win the second game, eight to nothing. Well, that wraps it up for today. The Senators won the first game 4-2. to two. The Yankees won the second one 8 nothing. Right now, how about lighting up a Salem while we get the total? Total's in the second 
seven ball game for the Yankees. Eight runs, eight hits, no errors. For the Senators, no runs, seven hits, and two errors. The winning pitcher is Jim Bowden, who has won one and lost none. The loser, Pete Burnside, who has won two and lost two. In the first game, as we told you, the Senators won it four to two. When Gene Woodling hit a pinch hit home run in the eighth inning, then a double by Pierce all, two sacrifices, an error, and a sacrifice fly, and the Senators won the ball game. In that ball game, Mantle had a home run with a man on to drive in the only two Yankee runs. In the second ball game, the Senators were shut out, and for the Yankees, Mantle had two homers to drive in three more runs. Maris had a home run to drive in two, and Tom Tress with two singles drove in three runs. So young Jim Bowden, his first major league start, comes through with a shutout. A big win for Bowden and a big lift for the Yankee pitching staff. Well, that winds up another Yankee baseball broadcast.